guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Cordero Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to go over some interview tips. You have to prepare for the interview. You have no choice. You are going up against people that are preparing, so if you're not prepared, you will stand out like a sore thumb. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Reload. Reload is a nursing recruitment company that gives you the outstanding opportunity to easily connect your friends or people that you know with jobs in your area. Area. And when you refer somebody, you can actually get a huge referral bonus. So they will be giving everyone a name badge reel that signs up, which it's super easy. It's like a three-step process, maybe more. But they will also be giving away customized name badges, which I will go over all the details in a bit. So this video is about the interview process. So let's go over that first, and then we'll talk about the other opportunity. So guys, when it comes to the interview, you have to work on your interviewing and your interpersonal skills. So what do I mean by that? Now on paper, on our resume, we have time to read, reread, send it to 20 different people, have them read it, have them tweak it, have them perfect it, and have everybody help us perfect this piece of paper. But it will only get you so far. If you cannot express or convince people that are sitting across you that you're going to be a wonderful person to work Work with, then that's it. You will not get hired for the job. It doesn't matter about your GPA. It doesn't matter how many times you took the NCLEX. It doesn't matter how many questions you took. None of that matters. Right now, the only thing that matters is you. Can you sell yourself? Are you convincing? Are you somebody that everybody wants to work with? In a competitive environment, there is no longer any room to make any mistakes. You just don't get that many chances anymore, especially as a new graduate. So the first tip that I have for you today is, now this is expanded on the other video, but one of the first tips that I gave in that other video was to Google very hard interview questions. And what you're going to find is a lot of open-ended questions, like tell me about yourself, or what led you into the nursing profession, or something like that. So you need to have sort of a monologue prepared. Now, Having the monologue prepared is one thing. Try not to write it word for word because then if you mess up on one of the words, you're gonna be like, oh no, <laughs> crap, I forgot one of the words and then you're gonna like look really nervous. But one thing that I do is I visualize myself actually going into the interview, feeling confident, amazing, and I visualize how I want to feel. I don't know what's going to be going on, like I can't visualize everything, but I can visualize a few things which are probably guaranteed. Guaranteed number one, you're probably going to have somebody with a very tight lip staring right back at you. Interviewers always kind of seem like they have something up there. Anyways, so I always visualize myself feeling incredibly confident with somebody that is sort of mean looking back at me. And this really helps me anticipate the road ahead. Now, if somebody is looking back at me that has a kind face, that's just an added bonus, but I've already prepared for the worst. So if the worst happens, I'm calm because I know that this is just expected. So just expect that. You can have one person, two people, three people, all staring back at you with these like really strangely negative faces. And you still need to stay positive, confident, and not let it bother you. Now, in addition to their negative faces, I also visualize them asking me incredibly difficult questions. And then I visualize myself thinking quick on my feet and being able to answer their questions in a very coherent, wonderful way, feeling absolutely amazing and doing an outstanding job. And when I'm done, I just sit there and I let them know that that's the end of my answer. Now, one other thing that I do is I imagine, even with those tight faces and those like piercing eyes, I imagine surprising and intriguing them. I imagine just finding a little twinkle of that. Because you know what? If you're looking for it, you'll find it. And if you don't find it, you'll just make it up and it'll make you feel better. So that's okay. <laughs> One of the most important things I try to do is I try to find interesting ways to answer the questions. My goal is to have them think about this. Wow, we could certainly use that around here. So, okay, what do nursing units need? Nursing is hard work. They need people that are able to think quick on their feet, they need people that are able to handle problems. They need people that are kind. They need people that are able to speak well to their patients. They need people that are going to be able to come across as sincere, loving, competent, and caring. 
So try to find ways to answer their questions in something from your past experience that exemplifies those characteristics. So your end goal is to have them thinking, wow, we really need this on this unit. This is exactly what's missing. You are their missing link. Be sure to take the time to show them how you would be an interesting person to have around the unit. What past experiences do you have that you can bring into the unit? I know that nursing is a second career for a lot of you guys. What did you do before that? Or what interesting things did you do in high school? What interesting volunteer trips or side jobs did you have? Bring all of these experiences into the mix so that you can show just how interesting of a person you are. Remember this. In addition to your interviewer evaluating whether you possess the skills or experience needed for the job, they're also assessing if you are somebody that they want to work with. Are you easy to talk to, fun, energetic? Do you handle criticism gracefully? Do you come across as capable, competent, curious, and kind? Will you be somebody that makes the hospital look good? Or will you be a constant drag on the other employees? These are all things that the interviewer has in their mind, in addition to whether you have the right degree or right skills, etc. Now, do your homework. I know I talked a lot about this in the last video, but it's so important and it's so easy. Do your homework on the place that you are interviewing at. What is their history? What is their mission? How did this hospital get built? Some of them have beautiful stories. You can also know about their competitors. That shows that you did a lot of research. You can say, I loved Hospital X because of XYZ. However, I love this hospital Y because of XYZ. It shows that you put a lot of time into understanding this hospital system and how you could be a wonderful asset to it. Other things to know, know the CEO's name, know the CNO's name. What is this hospital's accomplishments and certifications? These are super easy to find. They're usually highlighted on their websites. There's usually like a flashing screen that's like, hey, we just got this. You'd be like, oh my gosh, you guys just got trauma certified. That is amazing. I love working in places that are cutting edge. So make sure you look through the website, do like an initial look through, see anything that's popping out, and then you might have to dig a little bit deeper. But either way, it's easy to find information. So I wanted to take just another second to expand on those open-ended difficult questions because they really are the most difficult. You honestly have to have a monologue prepared, but a monologue prepared in a way that it's not known by exact words. You want to have sort of a visual in your head and try to follow that visual from like start to finish so that your story is coherent um, and makes sense. <laughs> So here are some examples of open-ended questions. I'm not going to answer them directly, but I want to give you an idea of what they're probably looking for. So what skills can you bring to this organization? All right, remember, nursing, we are in customer care. We are the person's first, last, middle face, essentially. So when they're asking you this question, I always want to think, customer service. So think of a past experience or some skill sets that you have that would help you answer that question. Next open-ended question. What inspires you about this field? Guys, just spend some time to do some research on some medical advancements. The healthcare field is getting so exciting. I mean, it's always been exciting because you have, you know, patient relations and, you know, we treating and stuff like that, but it's so exciting. I mean, the future of medicine is so incredible. In fact, I'll just tell you one thing that you can look into. Have you guys ever heard of precision medicine? So precision medicine is a medication that is based on your DNA. So as of now, the medication, let's say cold medication that you receive is the same as I'm going to receive, is the same as your neighbor is going to receive. It's all generic. It's all made for everybody. And there's a huge percentage that it's ineffective on. The future of medicine is precision medicine. It's going to be formulated specifically for your DNA. And that's just one of the things that's exciting about the future. Next, open into question. What are your short-term and long-term goals? Think career here. I would leave anything family out. They're interviewing you and that's all that matters right now. So think about advanced things that you want to do. Do you want to further your education? Do you want to get certifications? If you're interviewing for an oncology unit, your next step could be, well, I really want to get chemo certified. Or if you're working on a trauma unit, you would want to say, I really want to get CEN certified and trauma certified. So these are things that you can think about because you're probably going to get asked this question. 
Now, another thing that basically is in every single interview, there's never been a nursing interview where I have not had this question. So you will see this, I promise you. There's situational questions. They want to assess how you deal with problems. So you can expect questions like, can you give an example of when you assumed a leadership role? Now, if you're a nursing assistant, this could be something as little as, I felt like a patient of mine didn't look right, so I went ahead and took a set of vital signs, and then I noticed blah, 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 blah. So just think of something like that. If you have no experience in the nursing field, which I didn't, you can think of something on your everyday life, student life, or even on another job. So just be really open-minded about this, but expect this question. That's probably gonna come. Now, another question is, can you give me an example of when you had a conflict with another nurse, a nursing assistant, or a doctor? And how did you deal with it? Now, a lot of you guys, I know you might have a lot of experience in the hospital, and you might say, I've never had a conflict, but you've got, you can't, even if it's small, you really have to make it big. So expect this question. So start thinking about it now, start thinking about a problem and how you dealt with it. It could be something as simple as, I started following a nurse, I noticed that she was really overwhelmed, she was being sort of rude to me, and and I just, I felt like, you know, at first, my first initial reaction was anger because I didn't deserve to be treated like that. I'm not asking to be with her. I felt mistreated. However, I realized that I needed to look at it a different way. I put myself in her shoes and I really tried to just help her and I let her know that I'm here for her and I asked her what I could do to make her day better and it ended up being one of the best days I've ever had because after we got over like an initial difficult hour, she spent so much time explaining so much to me. It was an incredible experience. I wouldn't change it for anything. Okay, have your questions ready also. One thing that they're always gonna ask you, this is like without fail, so just expect it. And when they say it, you'll be like, ha ha, I knew it's coming. Do you have any questions for me? Now, you probably don't, you probably really don't care, you just wanna work, you just want a job, you just wanna work anywhere. You can't say that. What you can do is have at least one thoughtful question prepared. Here are some examples of thoughtful questions. By the way, Avoid asking questions about dress code, vacation time, nurse to patient ratio, or retirement plans. It just doesn't belong here. You're not hired. Those questions can come later. So avoid them here. This is your opportunity to allow your interviewer some time to reminisce about why he or she likes what they do. So here's some example questions. What has surprised and excited you about working in this organization? Isn't that a beautiful question? You know, don't put a word for word, but ask them, why do you like coming to work? What has surprised you about working for this organization? These questions are positive questions and you're going to get a positive answer back. Here's another question. How can I help this unit meet and exceed its goals and expectations? So in this question, you're really trying to find out what their goals are, first of all, and how they can be met and exceeded. Simple as that, and just listen to the answer. It's their time to talk. <laughs> now, I personally like this question, this next one, because it helps me know kind of what my goal is. And without giving any specifics, can you tell me a time when somebody met or exceeded your expectations? Can you give me an example of that? And I love this because it really gives the interviewer time to sort of recognize someone else for a great job. And it helps me know what he or she considers a great job. So I really like this question because it helps me sort of know what the expectations are, know how to meet and exceed the expectations. And hopefully they'll answer it in a way that gives you a lot of good information. <laughs> One, these sort of are like tricks in a sense. Um, they work though. Like, they really work. So, okay, plan your outfit ahead of time, but do this little trick. So bring a fresh copy of your resume. I don't know why they ask for it. They have it all online, but they do. They usually ask for a copy of your resume. So have a few copies on nice paper printed and use two colors. Use black print, which is going to be the majority of the text, and then have some sort of like bold words or outline in a different color. Choose your favorite color, a color that you feel confident in, and wear that same color. So what that does is subconsciously, it'll help them remember you. Because guys, long after you're gone, that interviewer can be sitting with a stack of papers. And it can be really hard to remember who's who because your face isn't there. Okay, the other tip is 
This is huge, 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 huge. And it is subconscious and it works. And you're probably doing it right now. If you are doing it right now, be really honest with me. I want you to give this video a thumbs up because you're probably doing it. It's to smile while you talk. <laughs> That's it. Smile while you talk. It is one of the biggest tips that I heard. I was doing a public speaking course and somebody said this tip and they were like, try to smile while you talk. It takes some getting used to. It really does. Cause you're like, at first you're like, like you're like trying, you're like, am I smiling? It doesn't feel right. It feels weird. I don't know. But when you get used to it, like it's amazing and you will notice it. Like you will notice other people smiling because you're smiling for no other reason. Like they're just smiling because you're smiling. You're probably smiling right now. I'm serious, this really works. So when you're answering the questions, smile while you talk. And even if you feel weird, like after like a while, like your your mouth might start like, like twitching a little bit, don't worry, they can't see that. Like it happens all the times in videos. Like sometimes in videos I'm recording and I'm like, oh, I just, this is gonna look so weird. And then it doesn't, it looks great. So the more you do it, the easier it gets, the better it gets. So just always get in the habit of smiling while you talk so that you remember it when you're on the interview because it's just what you do. All right guys, I really hope you enjoy those interview tips. So let me tell you about Reload. Reload is an online healthcare job community that pays you for connecting your friends or yourself to great jobs. Using Reload is free and simple. You can start by signing up. You can log in through Facebook, LinkedIn, or use your email address. Once you're logged in, you can easily browse all open positions. You can search by location or by position type. At a glance, you can view job titles, locations, number of positions, and reward per hire for jobs that match your search. Click on a job and view its details. Learn more about the job in the job description. If you know someone who will be a good fit, enter their information and click Refer Candidate. If you don't have all of someone's contact information, you can use the share this job with friends button. You can easily email a friend or post it to a whole social network. This is a custom link. So when somebody applies after clicking it, you get credit for the referral. Once you refer a friend or yourself to a job, you will be kept up to date throughout the entire process by the Reload team. When your referral gets hired, you'll earn thousands of dollars. Reload gives you an unmatched opportunity to make significant money by helping your friends. Ready to get started? The first step is to sign up. Join Reload today. And guys, by joining Reload, literally by just opening an account, which takes two seconds, they will send every single one of you guys a badge reel. Every single one of you guys. That's awesome. However, if you sign up and refer five friends, which is super easy, all you do is you click this button and you put your five friends in there. They will send you a custom badge reel with your name on it and you get to choose the design. So everybody that signs up gets one. Everybody that signs up and refers five friends gets this. I really don't get to say that very often. Usually companies will only offer like one or a few of their items for free, but they're giving everybody something for free. So sign up today. You can literally refer your friends. It takes one second and make a lot of money. If there's one thing that I've learned for being happy on your job, do not have all your eggs in one basket. You have to really push yourself to find opportunities outside of your job. And this is a really ridiculously easy way to do that. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tips in this video. I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until then, have a wonderful night. Talk to you soon. Bye.